Guruji, everybody. Today is 1st of January 2023. So I hope you all have a very good year. Uh, fingers crossed, things are going to get much better. But uh, I'm just going to carry on with this um, potting the seedlings. Okay? And I'm just going to show you some of the materials that I have here. First of all, I have this clay pot. <clears throat> this is a clay pot that he used for mainly Cattleya's uh, uh, Valkyriana and Cattleya nobildo. Um, they're changing a little bit how they, they, they grow now. But traditionally they use this because first of all it's clay, so it sucks up, it absorbs excess water. Second, it's very um, sh um, short and it's wide. So what happens here is that when you water it, the drainage of, look, look at the holes in them, the drainage, um, uh, it's very fast and it dries very fast. Uh, I lost about 15 uh, plantlets of uh, nobilia this summer because it's kind of monsoon season and for about two weeks it rained non-stop for five days and they just died rotten and I had some very rare ones which were about this big probably flowering this year 2023 and I lost them and that's life another thing that I have to tell you which I'm really embarrassed actually because it's the sort of thing that you don't you know you have to do but you forget and uh, and then when you, when you find out uh, it's too late I found this this pot this clay pot in the garden and it was empty and I just looked at it and I said, well, what is this doing here? It's not the right place for it. And I brought it um, uh, to, the, to the storage area <clears throat> and didn't think much about that. Uh, later on, I, uh, like later on yesterday, I was looking for my uh, collective of seedlings that I had planted, I had potted in a clay pot exactly like this. And I spent a long time looking for it because what happens is that inside the, the greenhouse sometimes it gets far too hot and I move things out, mainly seedlings, so that I don't have any problems and they don't, don't get dried out or burned or anything like that. And I left in the garden and I'm sure this is the same one without the seedlings, without the sphagnum moss. And the mystery is very simple. What happens is that uh, it's uh, summer and probably some bird just stole all my sphagnum uh, to make nests and they stole the sphagnum with the seedlings. So that's the story. But I'll show you what, uh, what I should have done, okay? Let me just, um, let me see. No, I, I think that you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. So here we have the seedlings, right? I have the clay pot. I have got my carbonized rice husk, I've got my sphagnum, which is a special sphagnum, it's long lasting, you should have it, and it's been soaking the, the, the rooting uh, fertilizer, and what I'm going to do now is just that I'm going to squeeze as much of the excess water and I'm not gonna waste this. Let's see. Let's put in the. Oh no. It's got some. Let's put in this. This is a. If you don't know that, it's American. It's a Mackenzie cup from New York. I bought it on eBay a few years back when I used to live in London. Well, so here it is. Here is the sphagnum. So you have to separate it. Separate, separate, separate. Let it be fairly small and loose, right? Like this. And you mix with your uh, carbonized rice husk. It took me a long time to say rice husk because I always say corn husk because I'm used to say corn husk. And um, in English, rice husk is not uh, part of my mental vocabulary, let's say. So this is what I'm doing. Separate, separate, separate. Mix, mix, separate. 
Sorry about that. But I want to show you. So this is the mixture, right? So we have the mixture here. I've got some midi pots with a very, very, very small. I'm going to plant some of them here and some in my clay pot. Before I plant in the clay pot, because I'm not using them for grown cattleyas, I'm going to close the holes with, um, with some um, polystyrene. This is just like broken up polystyrene from packaging. And here we are. And I put a small layer of uh, sphagnum moss at the bottom of the mixture. And after that, you start wrapping each one of the seedlings individually, carefully, very carefully, because they're very delicate, with the mixture. And you start putting them in the pot. These, some people don't like making this kind of arrangement, simply because the roots get entangled and um, you have extra work later on when you're gonna when you're gonna um, uh, separate them but it saves a lot of space in your growing area but later on i'll show you the result of this and i'm also gonna do some of these little things place a little bit uh, of uh, polystyrene here look it's about it's almost half you don't need much because you need drainage you, you want these little seedlings to be as drainable as possible so that you don't have any problems with them um, with um, rotting so here we have here we have right very carefully. So I'm tiring here. Nope. You could put some stones as well or broken um, clay pieces like clay pot. I have got some um, um, roof tiles, clay roof tiles there that we can also use. Sometimes I use for some special work. It's such as Cattleyas, Rockevianas and Obiler. Um, but that's it. I'll show you the results later on. Just, just are gonna stop. Here we are. Here I have my collective. Right? It's a little bit loose. So it didn't compact. Some people like to, when the, the, the plants are much bigger, they like to compact the roots, but I don't. I just, it's loosely packed. I have got my mini pots here with the seedlings. I hope they do well. And uh, here I have some tiny seedlings that didn't develop very well. And I'll just show you what I'm going to do with them later on, okay, in the next part of the video. Um, do you remember that I told you that if I leave this here in an area, uh, the probability of a bird just stealing all my sphagnum and taking the seedlings with them, what I should have done is this. It's a temporary cover, right? Can you see that? This is a cake uh, box or, or container. It's a confectionery when, you, when you, have, you go to the bakery or the supermarket. They have a tray here with a cake and this is to cover the cake. So it's easier to transport. And uh, we have, I, I just, you should have, to, I should have just put this on top. But I simply forgot. I think actually that it might have been my chicken. I ate all my seedlings. But look, the important thing of, of, of this is uh, the following. Here I have some fungicide, 
So you spray the fungicide inside. You also have to make loads of holes on the side of the, of the pot. I used my soldering tool. So you make loads of, two, of, of holes. If you don't have a sh sh soldering tool, uh, you could try with uh, some hot, very, very hot and thick um, uh, nail. Make sure that you hold with a pliers or something like that and you, you make holes like that. You can warm, heat it up in the stove. And what I'm going to do in the, in the, actually it's going to be receiving daylight, uh, sun, sunshine most of the day, is just to cover and leave it like this. I also going to spray a little bit. When you're doing this with seedlings or micro orchids, you have to use like one quarter of the, of the recommended solution. So this has got the fungicide and I'm going to spray a little bit just on above the, the surface. And you dilute one quarter of the recommended uh, dosage, dosage or the, the recommended use. And you just cover and I'm going to leave there. These seedlings here are going to see, are going to probably put in a box and I'm going to take inside the greenhouse where birds usually Good morning everybody. My plants. Some of my pets. And I just want to show you where I have put the tiny little uh, seedlings. This is a phoenix tree, a kind of palm tree. It's, I think it's dying and uh, it's been here for about 10 years and uh, probably because it's under shade this i also planted these trees here about 10 years ago they are leafless in winter but now it's really 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 lush and um, but this tree here is very interesting as you can see here the bottom is very crusty and um, I have got some Phalaenopolis here. Phalaenopolis don't do very well in Cunha because of the winter, which is very cold. Actually, this spring, this past spring, has been really below average. I don't know what, what is where you are, but it's been below average. But look, it has rooted, excuse me, has rooted very well here and it has flowered already, but it's not very. Uh, it doesn't flower very often. What I want to show you is this. This is the base of the old leaf that I cut because it dries out. And um, uh, it dries out. But here between uh, the base of the leaf, there's some, some of these fibers. And uh, I, I'll, I simply put my seedlings here, as you can see. This is the seedlings that I, I opened yesterday. This is probably a seedling of the plant that the birds stole all this sphagnum because they are larger here and I know that I have placed some of them here. Um, one of the things that I like to show you is that this is much older than the ones above. You can compare. If you compare the color uh, there's much more here as well, but the color is redder here and I believe it's redder. I believe no I know it's because there's a lot of tannin here. So ideally you, sh you should put in the older part I don't put anything here uh, But I can sometimes just take this out and I put in substract for micro orchids or mini orchids, etc um, Basically, that's it the trees have got some um, old um, uh, orchids, orchids that didn't work very well. Sometimes I buy things that um, it's like under a very good offer and it's just like uh, takes about two or three years. And uh, the best thing is just to tie on trees. Here I have another one. It's called Nobil, Nobile Stango Rubra. Uh, another one, another one, Platsaturn. And right. that's it. Here we have the collective, the seedlings. As you can see, something I didn't show you yesterday is that I have used a little bit of um, a cot uh, fertilizer. So it's proper for orchids and it's low release. 
and it's very few there's about five or six here but i also put some um, snail poison because you don't want to lose the little plantlets uh, another thing that it's very important you have to put a tag of course Cattleya labensiana and uh, the supplier the date i bought it the date i uh, potted it okay i hope that's all thank you very much subscribe give the thumbs up and i hope to see you soon back uh, back soon okay thank you bye mm -hmm.